the people who take the time to watch my video and then subscribe to my channel uh, in last couple weeks there's so many new subscribers come to my channel and then I've been start reaching my milestone so quickly and then it's so thrilled to think just think about that I'm very grateful you are here with me and I hope my channel can contribute at least a little to your life Thank you. In this week's video, I want to chat a little bit about the ending. I want to talk about how important an ending, a destination to a story that you tell. And I also want to use the same idea to talk about how important to knowing a destination and an ending for your life. So this is going to be a storytelling how-to and a life inspiration how-to, I guess. So as usual, I'll link the time content table down below. If you want to skip any part or directly jump to the part that you're interested in, please go ahead. The reason... Wait a second, okay? okay. The reason I wanted to talk about this topic is because I find it's very interesting that same idea can both apply to storytelling and to our life. A lot of time we're trying to figure out what's the next scene, what's the next plot we want to write for our story. Just like we are trying to figure out what, what's the next step to take for our life. But what's very interesting is most of the time we're not exactly sure how the story is going to end, just like we're not sure how our life would look like in five years or in 10 years. But to me, I think it's very important to know your destination, no matter is writing story or pursuing your life. But don't get me wrong here, I'm not talking about you have to know an ending, a destination that's going to play out definitely. There's no such thing is going to play out definitely. We can't really predict the future, but I'm more suggesting that we need to know an exact ending, a destination that we want to be. And at the same time, keep open-minded, keep in mind that the destination, the ending could be adjusted as we're writing, as we're pursuing it. Let's talk about writing first. It's very important to know how your story is going to end before you even start writing. So this is how it works. If this is a storyline and this side is how the story started and this is side is how the story is going to end, we have to look it backwards. If you know exactly what your story is going to end, then you will figure out what kind of mindset shift your hero is going to have aka what your hero learned throughout the story. Once you know what you want your hero learn at the end of the story, then you can figure out what's the weakness of the hero, what's the thing that hero missing in the beginning of the story. So now you have the specific beginning and the specific end. Based on the beginning version of the hero and the ending version of the hero, then you can set up a series of obstacles that you think the hero need to conquer in order to learn the lesson and then now you have beginning ending and then your plots and my point is you have to know exactly how you want your ending play out before you start entire writing process keep in mind it doesn't have to be something fixed it shouldn't even be something fixed you only need to pick something that you feel the most certain at this moment and then you can adjust the ending according to what's work and what doesn't work based on your writing process. And now, what about our life? I think it's also very important to knowing your destination, to know where you are heading to, no matter what you want to do with your life. Again, I'm not suggesting you have to figure out everything right now. I haven't figured out everything. And in fact, I don't know anybody has figured out everything. Just like a storytelling, if this is your life, and then this is the beginning of your life, and then is this is your imagining ending result that you want to get out of your life, 
by knowing what kind of destination you want, aka what kind of lifestyle you want, what you want to feel about yourself in 10 years, or what kind of friendship you want to have, what kind of career you want to create for yourself. Now you can go back to now, this moment, your beginning to figure out what you're missing. And that's the time you'll start to figure out what you need to do next. What kind of skill you need to learn, maybe taking some class, maybe go out to some events, or what kind of friends you, you need to make. By conquering all the obstacles, then you will reach the destination you want to be. But it's just like screenwriting, it's not going to be that easy. You are going to write many, many drafts in order to find the right one. By working on yourself and pursuing the first draft of the ending you set up for yourself, you will start to notice what's work for you and what doesn't really work. And then you might start knowing yourself better. And based on that, you can adjust your dream ending accordingly. Even it's required hard working and then it's not easy to figure it out, but I think it's worth it. It's so much better than just sleepwalking your entire life. Okay, now I want to know what you think about the ending and the destination. Are they important to you as well? Please leave a comment down below. Let's discuss about it. And uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like this channel, you want to know more about storytelling, creativity, or productivity, please subscribe. And I'll see you in two weeks. Bye. Bye.